Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some No Man's Sky, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide, and we just got some info, and we need to return to our buddy, the scientist here, and see what he thinks. See what he thinks of everything that we have found. Alright, I'm going to jump over here. And boom. Okay. So, we can turn the guy back on. And what's he say? Uh, I passed my test. I'm free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the Convergence, or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. Okay, I accept. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Indeed. Alright, so we need to go to an observatory. What can I do with this guy, actually? I've been inspired. Um, let me see the multi-tool. Oh, he made a note. So maybe just every so often he just makes a multi-tool? And we can just take it? I mean, he's given us this, like, very nice rifle with a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, take it. Thanks, buddy. So if I look at multi-tools... Yeah, this guy's... I think he's given me a couple. So that's not bad. By the way, while we're here, let's talk to my man. In this cycle, a humble farmer and others, there is no limit. But there is no need to worry. That which you cannot see does not happen. Um, okay, so ask about the farmer. Do not worry. We would all be very different in the wrong conditions. Such is the nature of things. Right, so we need to go find a farmer, which is fine. Um, but I wonder if I need to actually build a... Uh, I can't build a farming terminal that I see. So maybe we can just get the guy here without that? I don't know. And let me go to our log. Let me just see if... Uh... Oh, right. That's right. I have to get the selenium. I can't just get that nowhere. Uh, let me go to base computer archives and turn this on and see if there's anything here. And, oh, we got encrypted data. Um, we're going to go for... I don't know. I'm just going to make this up. Of unlocked. All right. What did we get? Search the archives. Having great success with advanced materials, able to far more efficient synthesis, it seems I can create pathway to materials from all over the system. That sounds good. Um, all right, so what do we get? Shield lattice plans restored. Um, okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go hop in our ship and get to the observatory for our dude. We're going to change this quest back over to scientific research, and there it is. Nice and close. You'll love it. For a signal sweep. Alright, so I'm going to target sweep it. That way. Sure. Oh, 
Oh. Finalizing signal. Good. We located it. And it's this. Well, what do you know? Oh, this multi-tool. I don't think it's my multi-tool. There we go. What you got in here? Oh boy. I nearly broke my legs. Anybody in here? It's all empty. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose. To locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. Download that data. And we need to return to the scientists, which we will, but there's some navigation data that we'll take. And I will explore the rest of this. Oh, Atlas Pass 2. Oh, we're going to build that soon. We need that. All right, flying, and uh, yeah, let's check this out and let's get all the stuff that's nearby. Sure, put it in my suit. Oh, S-grade underwater protection module. I guess if I'm going to be going underwater, that's very useful. Um, yeah, there you go. Get me through there. There it is. Sweet. Alright, we got two salvage data from that. We got some nanites here. Uh, we could restore our health. That's okay. Tremendous. Alright. Have I already charted this? I, it feels like I probably should have. But maybe not. Okay. And we saved it. And we got the nanites, everything else, the navigation data, fantastic. So let me find my ship. Where did I leave that? Actually, wait, do you have a ship caller? They do. I mean, there was navigation data in there, but let me actually use my Atlas Pass. Let me open this bad boy. Usually you get something reasonable. All right, well, this will be enough. Just look at me add my ship back. All right, scientist, I'm coming back for you, buddy. see how low to the ground we can get. Yeah, pretty low. Not much out here. Oh boy, I'm landing right on my solar panels. Don't break them now. I finished it, dude. Traveler, while you've been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have answer? I don't know. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely, merely the blueprints for living glass and a beacon. That's good. So, um, both nice things to know. The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct one, and the convergence may find me again. Sure, buddy, I'll make one. Corvax is grateful. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. Okay, so he wants me to make a beacon. Um, actually, I think I already have one. 
I don't know if it's on me though, so I'll just I'll make it. Um I could build one here. Do I do I already have one of these though? I guess not. Alright, fine. There it is. I did it, dude. <laughs> I like how I flew up and he followed me with his head. That's sweet. Is the beacon constructed? It is. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. There it is. Autonomous mining unit and atmosphere harvester. This is what I'm talking about. Those atmosphere, atmosphere harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own convergence? They shall be my children, traveler. That's great, buddy. Make more children. I have transmitted the crafted intelligence to the beacon so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do, but it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so that I might teach it. Operator Entity Lugar's plans seem desperate, but it does ha seem to have genuinely made them happier, or at least less anxious, about their separation. The Corvax asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. Fine, buddy. We thank you. Alright, so we can now make... Um, you want me to scan that? No, I already scanned it. Uh, I guess they have to be new creatures. That's fine. So, we're now capable of crafting harvesters. Let's see what happens. If I try to build this technology, autonomous mining unit. Oh, I can make that easily. Ammonia, seal. Let's see how this works. So, I'm going to get stuff out for both of this, and I'm going to look in my inventory. Is there something I want to put away? Um, I guess, you know, at this point, I don't think I need Pugnium or this. But anyway, I'm going to get Ammonia. I have some. And I'm going to get the rest of what I need. What, ion batteries? I need these Hermetic Seals. What if I want to make a battery? What does that take? Oh, just this? Okay, yeah, sure. Make three of them. And then... Let's craft, for example... I've never... The atmosphere harvester. And if I put it right here... I wonder what it's going to get for us. It's going to collect... Sulfurine? Scorched and Desert Planets. Um, I mean, okay. So I guess this is a desert planet, so it's that's what it's getting. I don't know how long it's going to take, but anyway, we'll get that. Okay, that's happening for us. And if I wanted to build an autonomous mining unit, I could easily do that. But... Um, you know, we need something that we want to mine. So let's find uh, a deposit that's close by. What is this? Magnetized ferrite? That's great. Let's go get it with our ship, of course. We'll have to go to another area that has... Um, life forms that we haven't scanned yet. And that, that should be okay. Alright, so I'm going to build this right on top of this magnetized ferrite. And then there it goes. Needs some fuel, I imagine. There you go. And now, we are getting magnetized ferrite, and it's just going to generate that for us, which is tremendous. There's some oxygen. Alright, so let's look at our log. 
we need to find selenium on a scorched world. So let's go ahead and check out actually catalog. No, 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 the log and oh wait, discoveries. That's where it is. It lives in discoveries. So, here, um, as far as a scorched world, gamma root, nuclear, overgrown, high radio source, um, I didn't scan any of this stuff, so it's hard for me to know you know, what's even here? There's a bladed planet, desolate, corrosive, and glacial. So, I haven't found um, a scorched world yet, it looks like, anywhere. So, in that regard, we're not doing very well. You go way up. And then I'm just going to check out the galaxy map and just go someplace. Mm. Not destination Atlas Station, no. Free Explore. Yeah, take me here. There's a quest here. And let's see, what's, what's this world? I'm scanning it. It's a scalding planet. So it's got selenium, how about that? First time's a charm. I'm just flying straight at this until it slows me down. We're going in. We're going in hot. Oh my god. All right. Oh, that's a cool looking world. I hit the tree. Alright, we're landing. And here we are. Alright. So it's got self igniting storms. That sounds awful. What am I nearest solar vine located? That's great. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just go for this. How far away is it? It's not horribly far. Oh, here's an animal to scan. That should count for the scientist, I hope. Oh my god. Incoming firestorm. Well, there's a cave down below. I'm, like, looking for animals with my... Yeah. On that, like, my target sweep. That's not gonna do it. I'll just call my ship to me, hopefully. I hurt my legs. I'm gonna charge life support. Ow. Alright, let me summon my ship right by here in case. Oh, hi. Uh, new, new animal. I'll count. Man, this protection I have is incredible. Uh, we got enough for the farmer. 
hate that it defaults to target sweep because I'm on this, like, quest or whatever. I'm going to check this out really fast. This right here, the atmospheric regulator, this thing is ridiculous. I, like, I can walk out here in a storm like it's nothing. I know it's wearing out. I know I'm going to have to change my tune. But for now, it's really nice. Oh, there's animals. They're probably under the ground, you know? Um, oh, there's a sentinel. No, they're not under the ground. Great. That's three animals. And where's my ship? It's down here. So the sentinels are looking at me, but that doesn't really bother me. Why is my ship being hard to get? Did I really go that far away from it? Did it not summon? Oh my god, it's it's up there. That is hilarious. Um, That isn't quite what I had in mind when I summoned you to this location. I'm going to have to do it again. I don't have enough fuel. Alright, that is... Um, that might kill me. Well, interesting. I mean, how do I climb up this thing? We're going to have to pray that I have enough jetpack. Oh, I, I didn't land on it. I just fell right down. I thought I clearly could land right there. Um... Well, I do have a lot of jetpack, I guess. Where's my ship? Are we close? Ship? There it is. I got inside. It, like, bugged out. It landed under the leaf, but I was able to get inside the ship. Now, whether or not I can move the ship, it doesn't have enough fuel. But I can now charge it. Oh my goodness, what a ridiculous... Turn of events. All right. Um, oh, all I have is a little bit of uranium, though. That's enough to get this thing off the ground. Um, but it's... Now the ship is stuck. Uh, that's not ideal. I'll have to drop to the ground and then resummon it, I think. To get this thing going, I think. Uh, let me build a starship launch fuel. Hold R2 to take off. Yep. No, I can't even leave my ship anymore. Alright, this is a situation where I need to do like a... An unstuck or something. Is there an unstuck? I kind of thought that there was like an unstuck thing, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, because I can't get out of the ship. All I can do is scan. Hmm. Uh, I could reload a save, I suppose. 
Okay, I reloaded my autosave, but my ship is still up there. But maybe if my ship is close enough, I can fuel it? No. Oh, I could fuel it. Okay, good. It was close enough. So let's try to bring it down. Let me summon my ship over here. Please move, ship. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Crisis averted. Okay, so I got the selenium that I need. I got a ton of it. This world has a bunch for us. Um, I, I need to scan... the uh, stuff in the air for my scientist. Got it. Got it. You know, I'm curious, like, what is this uh, planet like? Oh, it has actually a lot more than I thought. Alright, um, so we're going to upload everything, we're going to rename and upload this world, we're going to call this Incompetent Scorched, Okay, and then I'm also going to just upload, I think, can you upload all of the stuff from this screen, like everything? Or do you do this, I mean, you could do it manually, but I thought there was a way from here... Yeah, upload all pending discoveries, where you just get a bunch. Right. That's cool. Alright. Fantastic. Where did my ship go? We gotta get out of here. I'm gonna have to craft that um, thruster. Or the fuel. But that's easy enough. There we go. Now, hopefully, I'm going to check the log, but my scientist should be pleased with... Uh, yep, scientist. And... Mm, I just still didn't find the hidden holograms, but that's okay. I'm getting wasted by these plants. These things are the bane of my existence. I mean, you know how strong that leaf must be that it stops my starship? Incredible. Alright, so from here... Oh, this is where it wants me to go. It wants me to go to this exact location. Okay, fine, I'll do that. I'll complete this mission. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Oh, God. All right, let's see what you got. Um, scan unique plants. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. There's a lot of rocks around here. I need to... Um, this needs to be charged. Oh, God. This one. Yeah, that this makes me borderline invincible against most of the stuff here. Alright, there's a plant. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're getting the big boost to cash now. Right, 
So they want me to scan a certain number of plants. That is not a plant, that's a mineral. The problem with this quest for, like, getting plants is that, uh... There's not that many plants. I've scanned it. Okay. Fireberry. There we go. There we go. It's interesting that this plant can damage you when you're so far away from it, and all it can do is, like, snap in place. But they're like, oh, yeah, it hit you. I'm like, well, did it? Oh, there's an animal that we don't know about. Oh, there's a sentinel, like, right by this fire berry. Like, don't even try it. All right, how are we doing on this? I only need one more plant, and we got it. Looks like there's some stuff around here. Does any of this count? Uh, whatever that is, I've already gotten it. There you go. That counts, right? Yes, it counted. Fantastic. All right, give me my ship. Please don't get stuck, ship. It made it. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we completed the mission. We now got enough solarium for the farmer, and we scanned enough uh, animals for the scientist. So we're really cooking with gas on these specialist missions. And I'm excited to see... Uh, we, we also did a, a atmospheric harvester and a mining harvester. So we've got kind of like the offline... Um, gathering of resources beginning. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you for all of your tips, and I hope you're um, having fun with No Man's Sky, and I'll check in the next episode. Take care.